So if you're just going to factor this down, right? the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is understanding that this is in the format a cubed minus b cubed. Does everybody kind of agree with me there? Now, you might not understand that 64 is a cubed number. right? And that's going to come in through practice. It is written under there, under cubed numbers. And if you don't know, just you know, think, well, first of all, we can't factor a GCF like the last problem, can we? Can't factor out a GCF. So let's think about it. You know, 1 times 1 times 1, that gives you 1. 2 times 2 times 2, that gives you 8. 3 times 3 times 3, that gives you 27. 4 times 4 times 4, ooh, wait, that gives me 64. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So therefore, I'm just going to write a cubed is equal to 64x cubed, and b cubed is equal to 1. So again, to apply the factored form, I have to figure out what is a and what is b. So I take the cube root of both sides. The cube root of 64 is 4. Cube root of x cubed is x. Cube root, cube root. Cube root of 1 is 1. Now in this one, instead of using parentheses, I'll use a little color code. How about we do 4x and 1? OK, same thing I just wrote. So now we're just going to factor this out. So now all you're simply doing is taking these values for a and b, right? This is what a equals. That's what b equals. And just plug them into the formula. And that's it. And then you have it factored. And that's it. Anybody have any questions on that? No. So you really don't have to do too much factoring. You just have to be plugging it in. So therefore, we'll have 4x minus 1. And then we have 4x squared plus 4x times 1 plus 1 squared. All right. Well, I put these all in parentheses because we are squaring this. So 4x squared is 4x times 4x. 4 times 4 is 16. x times x is x squared. So your final factored form would have been 16x squared. 4x times 1 is just 4x. 1 squared is just 1. Bless you. And that's it. Anybody have any